this is part of Iran, with movements of some European governments trying to limit the consumption of meat, this may lead to a health crisis. As people on the keto carnivore spectrum, we know the physical, intellectual, and emotional benefits of this way of eating. To illustrate the power of government to limit rights, you have only to look to our nation. On October 5, 2020, an open letter was published called the Great Barrington Declaration. The letter was signed by Dr. Jayanta Bhakchara, a professor of medicine, economics, and health research policy at Stanford University. He is also the director of Stan Stanford's Center for Demography and Economics of Health and Aging. He advocated for the lifting of government restrictions placed on people at that time because of the virus. This year, September 8, 2023, in their ruling by the U.S. Court of Appeals for the Fifth Circuit, a three-judge panel unanim unanimously found that the CDC, the Office of Surgeon General, the FBI, and the White House had pressured social media companies to suppress speech, such as the Great Barrington Declaration. Quoting from the ruling, numerous federal officials coerced social media platforms into censoring certain social media content in violation of the First Amendment. The nation's judicial system has rarely been faced with a coordinated campaign of this magnitude orchestrated by federal officials that jeopardized a fundamental aspect of American life. That fundamental aspect of American life is freedom of speech. The problem is not the government or our system, but some people in the government, some people in positions of authority. Is, is it only a matter of time before social media companies limit the positive statements about eating meat? Will people be removed from social media because they advocate eating meat? If speech can be limited or taken away by a government, then what other rights will these people restrict? I say, eat meat.